Even though the AMS2 Pro comes complete with a built-in drawing solution, if you're working with specialised or high-performance materials that need a little more, this could be ideal. The Bamboo Lab AMS HT. Whether you're looking to add an extra single spool to your existing AMS setup or want to be able to dry high performance materials such as PC, ABS, nylon and so on, this AMS HT unit could be what you need. Blending both the drying capabilities of competing units with the simplicity we've come to expect from the Bamboo Lab AMS solution. And it starts by sharing much of its feature set with the current larger AMS solutions too. We have a familiar look and feel, although more compact to take a single spool of course, with no buttons, dials or areas to interact, other than the ports found around the rear of the unit. Here we have a single power input, as well as the interface ports for attaching either directly to your printer or by daisy chaining from an existing AMS unit, depending upon your setup. Otherwise, on the face of it, it's a rather simple device. The lid hinges open from the front, revealing an internal cavity for a single filament spool to slide straight in, which sits on rubber coated rollers down below. The front roller connects to a built in motor, which will slowly turn in order to rotate the spool for balanced drying, which is a nice added touch, but otherwise, we keep some of the same features as we have from the AMS2 Pro units, such as the ceramic coated filament inlet built-in RFID scanner for automatically updating the printer with the filament type and colour, even the brushless servo motor that helps to feed the filament across to the printer faster than before. All features that make this a really beginner friendly unit. Connecting to the printer is just as easy. Attach power, as well as the communication cable, and the PTFE tubing that routes the filament out of the rear and up towards the printer. Again the same system as the AMS2 Pro with a quick release button just below. A direct exit is available in the rear lid if using soft TPU that is not AMS compatible. Ordinarily this would sit up beside your existing AMS unit if you have one. I actually have two AMS units connected to this H2D already so I'm just going to sit the HT on the side for the moment with all three units being daisy chained back to the main printer. We can then power up as normal It'll even go ahead and apply the latest firmware update, which only takes a minute or so. And by entering the menu system, we can see the AMS HD has already been detected and is ready to use. After which, if you have a dual nozzle system like mine, it can be added to either the left or the right nozzle. So I'm going for the left here. And with that, setup is complete. The front of the AMS HT lights up with useful information and the entire system is ready to use. So we can go ahead and insert our choice of filament. Before doing this you'll want to remove the rear roller and drop in the included desiccant packs which will help keep the internal cavity relatively dry when not in use. Nevertheless at this stage we can place the roll of filament into position, not inserting the end into the feeder at all just yet and closing the lid, which incorporates a rubber seal in order to keep the internal cavity as airtight as possible. At this point filament drying can be started via the printer's menu system. And we can go ahead and set the rotating function for more even drying. And begin the drying process. The current humidity level, temperature, as well as the drying time remaining will stay active on the front of the unit, where they are nice and easy to see and electromagnetic air vents will open to exhaust damp air and close when complete in order to keep the internal cavity sealed. When ready, just like any other AMS unit, feed the filament end into the ceramic coated inlet and the system will grab and take care of the feeding process for you. Simply close the lid to create that tight seal and use as normal. Now there are a few downsides to this system though. You can either dry or use the filament in a print. There's no way to actually print while the drying is active at the same time, which would have been handy for sensitive filaments like nylon. Also, and my main issue here, is that you can't use the system standalone. You're limited to activating drying locally at the print screen only. You can't even do it through the app. Again, another limiting factor. As a package though, the AMS HD is a high performance multifunctional accessory compatible with all Bamboo Lab printers across the range, optimizing the use of sensitive and high temperature filaments. 
with active high temperature filament drying up to 85 degrees Celsius for technical filaments like ABS or nylon, moisture control with the automatic electromagnetic air vent, as well as more standard features like the ceramic inlets, the RFID based material recognition, faster brushless motor, even the sealed storage to protect against ambient humidity. While I do wish I could use the system standalone without having to power the entire printer to dry a single spool of filament, the AMS HT complements the setup nicely, bringing high temperature drying to an already established AMS feature set.